During my PhD, when there were no AI tools, I had to spend several months for finding relevant academic papers and write entire research paper and thesis on my own. It was extremely challenging and time consuming. But now things are very different. There are dozens of AI tools that can save your time and efforts in literature search, writing, and even publishing. I've made a dedicated playlist about such AI tools. So if that's relevant to you, don't forget to check that out after this video. Today's video is very important for you. If you are struggling to find right research paper to cite for literature review, your research manuscript, thesis, or review articles. I have compared three popular tools that researchers use for this purpose. I will share with you a very helpful AI tool using which you can find relevant papers to cite for your entire document with just a single click. This can literally save your weeks of time and efforts. At the end, I will show the side-by-side -side comparison so that you can decide which one is best for you. So do not skip this video and stay connected till the end. Imagine you have finished writing your research paper or thesis. The text is ready, but you are struggling to find supporting papers to cite. And without proper citations, your work becomes questionable. It looks less credible, disconnected from existing research, risks plagiarism, and ultimately loses both trust and impact. Most of us turn to Google Scholar, which is the most widely used tool. And several years back, it was the only best option available for us. But now in the era of AI, things have changed rapidly. Google Scholar comes with serious limitations when it comes to finding and citing papers. First, it gives you a list of hundreds or even thousands of papers and filtering out truly relevant high quality studies is not that easy. It only shows title and text snippet. So you still need to open and go through the entire paper to decide if it's worth citing. Once you do find a suitable paper, you can click cite to get reference in different formats, but sometimes formatting is not that proper. Although it allows you to export them for use in reference managers like Zotero, where you can get formatted references. Now, if you have time and prefer a free manual way of doing literature search, Google Scholar is fine. In fact, I have uploaded a detailed video on how to use Google Scholar like a pro. Its link is given in the description. Then there are AI assisted tools that can save you significant time. For example, Cite AI. You can paste a statement or ask a question and it will show you papers that either support, contradict or mention that statement. It also provides plugins for Google Scholar and Zotero, making it easier to manage and format references. But here is the catch. You can only perform individual searches and you still need to read through sections of the paper to confirm if it's worth citing. If you are curious, I have made a detailed tutorial on Site AI as well. To make the literature search even more convenient, efficient and faster, you must know about the AI tool Sourcely. Not many people are aware of this tool, but honestly, it can save you a huge amount of time and efforts. And there are three main reasons why I really like Sourcely. The first and the most important reason, Sourcely doesn't just work for individual statement. It can find citations for the entire paragraph and even your entire document at once. So no need to repeat the same search over and over again. Honestly, I haven't found any other tool that can do this. The second reason is that it actually highlights citation worthy text in your document. That means it automatically analyzes your writing and shows which statements needs proper references. The third reason is for each highlighted statement, it provides multiple relevant papers you can cite. And like many other tools, it also gives instant summaries of those papers so you can quickly judge their relevance. Further, if you want to go deeper, it even provides official paper link and PDF if available. Now you can export individual references in different formats or save multiple papers in your library and batch export them later. Like other tools, Sourcely also supports BibTeX export, which means you can import them into Zotero and then format as per any journal style for free. Additionally, you can also select a specific text in your document and do a targeted search for citations. So now let's compare these three tools side by side based on their key features so that you can decide which one is more suitable for you. If we talk about database size, Google Scholar definitely wins. But if you want only high quality peer reviewed research papers and reviews, Sourcely can actually be a better choice. In contrast to Google Scholar, both Site AI and Sourcely are AI powered which makes them much better for relevance-based searches. Google Scholar doesn't provide summaries. You have to read the papers yourself manually. Site generates synthesized summaries for specific statements or questions. 
Sosli, on the other hand, gives you paper summaries and snippets at one place without the need of switching the tabs. For citation purposes, I find the summary generated by Sosli to be more relevant. When it comes to bulk citation, like entire paragraph or entire document, Sosli clearly stands out. With just one click, it gives you references for all citation-worthy statements. You can also manage references by adding papers to Sosli's built-in library, making the research workflow much more convenient. Later, you can export everything for use in Mendeley or Zotero. Cite doesn't have integrated library management option, though it does allow you to export to Zotero. Google Scholar also has a library feature, but again, it's quite basic. Considering the ease of use, Sosli is very user-friendly. Most tasks take just a single click. Google Scholar is familiar, but not efficient, since you will need to repeat searches many times. Cite requires a bit of learning curve, but its ability to classify citation as supporting contradictory mentioning is very helpful. To sum up, use Google Scholar if you want a free tool and do not mind doing manual searches and reading full papers. Use Cite AI if your purpose is to explore papers around a specific statement or question, especially with its smart citation classification. And if you want to speed up your research, get bulk and highly relevant citation with a single click along with summaries and library management features, then Sosli is definitely the best option. For those also struggling with academic writing itself, I recommend another AI tool called Yomu. It helps you understand papers, write sections, paraphrase the text, check plagiarism, and much more. You will find the best buying links and discount codes in the description. Let me know in the comments which AI tool you find most helpful. If you like such videos, do not forget to subscribe and even join my channel membership for extra perks and benefits. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.